And welcome to another exciting episode of the Super Fantastic Exchange. My name is Gary. Guys, sit down, grab a seat, get some popcorn. This is going to be an incredible episode because I've got... You got popcorn? I'm. Look at this guy. He comes prepared. <laughs> I have none other Ew. than... Then Matt Cornelson, um, this guy, man, I've been I've been following and watching his stuff. He's got some incredible stuff. And before we get started, Matt, I want to give you a chance to share a little bit more about who you are and what you do. Yeah, thank you so much for having me on, Gary. This is like this is a really cool. I've, I've been following your stuff, and I get inspired by watching this this podcast. So I was super excited to be here. So I guess you know what I do the day during the day. I um, I run a company called Fungi Media, and we're a video storytelling agency. And we work with large sort of Fortune 1000 sized businesses, help them tell their story, and market their business out to the world. And we, you know, video is sort of our our bread and butter, but we do a lot of other things, a lot of other creative things too. And it could be anything from, hey, we need to launch this new product out in the market, onto the market, or we need to roll out a new our new brand, or we have a new initiative, whatever that thing is. Uh, we we help them sort of figure out what's the strategy, what's the message, what's the creative approach, and then we go make cool stuff. So we're we're video makers, we're art directors, we're designers, we're photographers, and we we make stuff and and help people communicate their message. I love it. I love it. You, what a great storyteller. And and I want to put all the the links to your website, to your LinkedIn. Um, on the show notes so people can connect with you after after this episode. But I encourage everyone, just connect with Matt. His, his stuff is amazing. His podcast is super conversations. And so make sure you connect with that. But what I love is, you know, there's a couple of things, Matt, before we get into to the, the questions, I just have to point out, we were talking a little earlier. You taught Al Roker air guitar. I, I, I believe that's probably one of the such a cool story hence your storyteller that you know that's just one of your experiences in life that you were able to teach al roker air guitar to give us just a little recap of what that was like yeah so you know i was on the today show because i am a professional air guitarist <laughs> um and and basically they invited me on i was on another show called america's got talent that i think a lot of people know about but um and again, for doing air guitar, which is not like something that most people probably think about is is a professional sport or activity. Um, but I went on the show and they interviewed me and I taught Al Roker how to rock. We call him I call him Al Rocker. It's a little thing between him and I. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, but yeah, it was super fun. It was it was, you know, wacky, weird. And and if people go too depth far down the road, air guitar rabbit hole they'll find some really weird stuff about me but um oh, yeah fun. that's it and, yeah that sounds sounds like a a challenge when we have to do some uh some research on that i'll get my research assistants we'll uh we'll yeah get the whole some... team on <laughs> yeah the whole I'll, team have my, I'll have my people call your people and we'll figure it out we'll make it happen <laughs> Well, Matt, you know, I love to connect with leaders that inspire other people. And, and you do that through the work that you do, your storytelling, your podcast. And I love to peek behind the curtains to see what inspires inspiring leaders. And so I reached out to you and I was like, you know, hey, Matt, what inspires you? You sent back three incredible points. And I can't wait to jump, jump into these conversations. But the first one that you shared, which I think is pretty powerful, is... What inspires you is seeing someone get back after they fall down or fail. And, yeah. you know, a lot of us kind of try and shy away from failure or try to hide our failure. But you're you're inspired by those people that say, hey, you know what? I fell. I, you know, I fell down, but I'm getting back up. And that inspires you. So tell us what that means to you and how does that inspire you? Yeah. And you even pointed out you on my LinkedIn profile, I, I, I mentioned that. You know, I was uh, gonged off the America's Got Talent show. I basically <laughs> didn't succeed there. I failed there, right? <laughs> but, um, you know, I think it's, you know, you think about those videos and this is kind of like, you know how people get addicted to like cat videos or whatever, like America's Funniest Home Videos, they just go down the, they just can't stop watching them. Yeah. I'm like with, with videos of like athletes like falling right before the finish line, mm -hmm. they, they're, they fall into last place and then they have to get back up or they crawl across the finish line. I'm like the guy that's like, like, 
like trying to choke back the tears like oh my god that's amazing um or you know i just watched a video of this this guy who's like a motocross racer who's you know riding this bike has a terrible wreck like ha literally literally gets off his uh bike runs all the way around the track on foot yes. and everybody's cheering for him right and then he he gets another bike and then just finishes the race right of course he didn't get first place he probably got last place but so that's you know obviously an olympic level athlete or like a superstar athlete and not all of us are that but like that's an example of you know getting you know failing and just getting back up and and i think you know if you're somebody who's just like has a bad day or you're somebody who you know did had a bad call with a client maybe or you know you didn't get that promotion or whatever the thing is but you're able to kind of show up and look at the bigger picture and and sort of say hey today's a new day you know i'll t i'll i'll take that one as a as a learning opportunity and what did i what could i do a little bit different mm -hmm. um or just an attitude of like hey like today's a new day so yeah. i get inspired by just people who approach their life that way or find ways to 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 overcome those small those big and small failures um, yeah when they fall down and they get back I, up I, I think that's so valuable because you know a lot of us when when we fail at something we let that that one experience define us or we let that one experience become who we are but I like where your perspective is you know hey we're all gonna have some misses we're gonna miss the mark we're gonna you know fall down occasionally but we don't let that define us and we get back up and we just we keep running around the track to get our you know get the 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 backup motorcycle to finish the race right you know and i think that's such a valuable perspective to not let that failure define us and just just get back up keep rolling yeah and i don't know about you but i i mean i i struggle with that you know it's i don't like show up every day like hey lost that project it's okay <laughs> i'm fine everything's fine you know i i i get I get bummed and I let it get the best of me sometimes. And sometimes I, I attach it to my de identity in ways that mm -hmm. takes takes a little bit of work to to kind of work through that and remind yeah. myself and and get perspective like what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, and so I think it's to say that it's not everybody. It's like be a different person and be perfect. You know, be okay with failure at all times. But at the same time, um, if you can work through that, even if it takes a long time, or you just mm -hmm. do the work, take the steps. I think that's that's pretty darn inspiring yeah you know to me because that just adds to your life story and and then your ability to do that even better and maybe even quicker next time you know? yeah Th that gives you an opportunity to become a storyteller because you can use your own experiences yeah. to tell stories that's a great that's a great point um yeah you can how can you how can you use that in a positive way in the future and yeah. i know you're all about inspiring other people and you know how can you use that to inspire other people to exactly exactly now, now matt i want to get to your second point which i think is really cool um and, and probably not a lot of us think about this but here you are bringing up something so so foundational but it's 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 really impactful you say babies and their curiosity <laughs> a sense of wonder inspires yeah. you so i mean where does this come from and how tell us how that inspires you yeah, it's like what inspires you? Babies. Like, okay, <laughs> that's weird. That's a weird thing to say. What's wrong uh, with Matt? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Hey, blink twice if you're okay. Um, <laughs> babies. You know, I am a recent father. Uh, I have a nine month. Yeah, yeah. I have a nine month old, and so so ask. It depends on the day, actually. Now, <laughs> it's it's different now. Um, but uh, <laughs> so depending on if I sleep or not through the night. But uh, but most of the time, nine times out of ten, um, babies are really inspiring, and I think you know obviously being really close to you know having having uh, ruby as her name in my life and and sort of kind of living the world through her eyes a little bit seeing the world through her eyes in ways that i've never had the chance to do that um i think i was always inspired by children and young people in the first place and just how they everything is so new and so amazing and mind-blowing and super fantastic and you know they have this newness right uh about the, how they go about the world and you know a quick anecdote we were just took our first ashley my wife and i and ruby took our first trip with ruby on a flight mm -hmm. and which is an adventure with a with a young one but um we went to maine and we do this thing where we connect with we get to hang out with her family my wife's family for a week and we're on a lake and it's beautiful and so like 
you know, she's looking through the, on the way there, she's looking through the window out the plane and she's seeing this, the clouds in a way that she's never even seen before. And who knows if she's even making any sense, but it looks, she's just out there like pointing and being blown away. And it's, it's the stuff you take for granted as somebody who travels a decent amount. And you're just like, oh, there's another oh. flight to, you know, but then you, we got to the, got to Maine, we got to the, the lake house and then she's just can't wait to get into the water and just feel the touch and feel of water uh on her fingertips is just like blowing her mind and then we get on this pontoon boat and and she's on the front of the pontoon boat and the winds is like hitting her and she's just going nuts for like the entire time and so there's so much joy but like these these experiences that we've had you know i've had as a, as an adult a million times mm -hmm. sort of them again in a new way and she's just so curious about all of these things yeah and that, I, I just find that 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 sense of curiosity and that wonder if you can sort of tap into that, it leads to creativity in, in, in your life, in your work, in mm -hmm. your business, um, whatever it is you're doing, it leads to, <laughs> it leads to learning because you're noticing something you hadn't noticed before. Yeah. Probably. And even about something that you've seen a million times, you're looking at it in a different way. It could be a problem at work, could be whatever it is. And then it leads to, you know, again, with this, I feel like the theme of, of your of how you're helping people in you know inspiration you get it you get inspired um when you find something new at through using curiosity and wonder and and so i think that's what you know that example and and so many others are, are why i think babies are are inspiring to me i i have to agree with you as a father of four i've you know i've had that been blessed to go through that experience yeah just wait till you get to the the why stage they're asking why oh my gosh a million times that's that's that's, that's a different that's a different experience world. yeah but I, I love what you're talking about you know it's it's experiencing things you know babies experience things for the first time you know yeah. the, the wind and the clouds and you know just those experiences but what it creates, I love how you mentioned it creates joy in those experiences and that joy, you know, leads to gratitude in those experiences. And then, you know, gratitude creates an open mindset, which allows you to do additional things that previously you may have taken for granted. And I, yeah. and I love, I love that you've recognized that and you're kind of vicariously experiencing that newfound joy through Ruby. Uh, and I think that's such a neat perspective that you're able to, to, you know, to experience yeah uh, and, I, and I, I see how that's that's a, that's inspiring for you so last thing matt that you you shared with me that inspires you it's, it's quote from michael jordan and we can all agree michael jordan is i would say the best basketball player you know that that may start an argument with some people but uh you know his quote and, and i want to read this just just for the impact of what yeah you know what it is in its fullness is Michael Jackson is or Michael Jackson, Michael Jordan. <laughs> I don't know what his quotes are, but we'll go with Michael Jordan. That's um, a good deal. <laughs> I've missed more than 9,000 shots in my career. I've lost almost 300 games. 26 times I've been trusted to take the game winning shot and missed. I have failed over and over again in my life. That's why I've succeeded. And I think that's such a powerful quote because, you know, Michael Jordan is talking about his failures and his failures are what led him to success. Right. And so, Matt, tell us what that means to you. I mean, you shared that with me. So this has to have something that resonates with you that truly inspires you. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's a little bit of a different twist on probably the very first thing that inspires me, you know, falling down and getting back up. but. And, and it's a little different, I think, but uh, I mean, Michael Jordan, depending on, you know, where you're from, obviously like just this epic, like superstar athlete that everybody knows about, you know, grew up like idolizing and wanted to be and, and that sort of a thing. But yeah, I don't think you as a young person see any of that s stuff that he's talking about in that quote. You don't see the all the failures, you see the highlights, you know, you see the life's highlights. And, and I think it's true about somebody that's that insanely successful or somebody who is not as famously successful but maybe has achieved some of the things that they they wanted to they set out mm -hmm. to achieve you just don't see all of the practice and and the missed shots and the like you know 
maybe in my case, like the, you know, not winning the project or, you know, not delivering the thing that you wanted to deliver in the first place, especially younger in my career and that sort of a thing. And mm -hmm. I think no matter what it is you're doing, it's like, there's all this talk now about like the shortcut and the get rich quick scheme and the, and the, here's the life hack for that. So you don't have to, you don't have to learn by doing, you can just learn by, by sort of like the shortcut version of whatever that is, whatever you're yeah. trying to do in life. Um, and I just think the reality is that the, that nobody who's really achieved that, that level of success, again, success in their own mind, whatever that is, um, ha has done it without doing all the hard work and experienced all of the failure and overcome all of the obstacles along the way and just got back up and, and kept going. And um, so I think that's why that quote's so inspiring. And, and also, also just the idea that like, it's not just about overcoming failure, but it's about taking action. It's about actually doing something right not and, yeah. and then not expecting like the oh i hey I, I put myself out there and it didn't work out so i guess that's 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 that you know it's like no can, you know if you're really you really want to to achieve that thing or you really mm -hmm. have a dream that you want to realize whatever that thing is um you really want to just go get a, a latte at star starbucks right if the cat pees on the the carpet and you have to clean it up like you can still get that latte you know you can still go out there whatever it is um so yeah that's why that inspires me and and side note uh i recently we recently um moved into a a, a a house where we live outside of chicago and evanston we were looking on if you're familiar with zillow, zillow and redfin these apps we saw Ooh. michael jordan's uh chicago north suburbs mansion on there hey <laughs> if anybody uh wants to drop like 10 or 12 million dollars um <laughs> and they're looking for a a, a place yeah uh, i've got i've got the place for you i'll send you the link yeah you, um, you'll you'll hook us up with it i'll hook you up yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> matt i love it you know i think what what you talked about is if we can't stop let something stop us from doing the reps we're gonna miss yeah. we're gonna make mistakes but we got to keep doing the reps so that we can continue to get better and then when when we do succeed people see the success but they don't see all the reps all the misses all the failures behind the scenes to get to that point so keep doing the rep reps don't let the cat pee on the carpet prevent you from getting your latte get out there and go get that A latte. latte yeah <laughs> clean that pee up clean that pee up and get out there right go get that latte Hey, Matt, it's been great chatting with you. It's been been wonderful learning a little bit about what inspires you. We're, we're right at the edge of our time here. But before we wrap up, I want to give you a chance to share a closing thought with us. Yeah, my closing thought is make sure that you go get out there and pick up the Super Fantastic Me book so that you can get inspired yourself. Uh, because I, I really do appreciate, Gary, what you're doing and, and kind of curating these inspirational stories and these different people from di you know different backgrounds and and I really do hope that um, you know if anybody's watching they get a little something nugget out of this even if it just brightens their their day or their moment um, and if they really get a little something even more out of this then get the book. I appreciate that, man. And I, I'll have to send you a, a little royalty check for the next couple of yeah. sales on this one. So yeah, thank I should you say, so Gary, much. we didn't plan this. Okay, that was that was all me. All right, Gary didn't I, ask me to give. I appreciate that. You you are inspiring, and uh, that means a lot to me. But guys, make sure you go follow Matt on LinkedIn. I'm going to put a link uh, for his LinkedIn profile here in the show notes, or I'm going to also put a link to his website in the show notes as well. His podcast is absolutely incredible. He's got some great guests on there. Great conversations. Matt, you truly are inspiring and thank you so much. And I hope you continue to, to build on that joy that you experienced through Ruby. Again, congratulations on your new baby. Guys, thank you so much for joining us today on the Super Fantastic Exchange. We will see you on the next episode.